beautiful earth angels, multi-dimensional beings, light warriors, light workers. Welcome back to another channel reading a message for you beautiful souls. We are out here in the car again. I'll show you the little view that I have so we can all be together in this space. We're in the beautiful countryside again. It's a lovely, lovely day, you guys. So for this duration, you can be here with me in the sky. We've got a crow coming through over there. A little crow flying in to check on us from the spirit team. So why I've got this book here, you guys, is that the last reading we did, we were talking about how there was this energy coming up from you guys about like the Merkaba or this diamond frequency diamond light frequency but also more away from the fact of diamond light it was more like the diamond light structure and the merkaba being like this interdimensional travel type of um geometry or energy i'm also seeing the number seven up on this on this like electricity pole over here and that's making me think of that as well but there is something coming through about that. And then this morning when I was preparing for the reading, I was getting my decks together and this card out of this deck just caught my eye. It was like right on the top and it's called Crystalline Light Body, Build Your Crystalline Merkaba. And as soon as I read that, I was like, this is relevant for you guys. This needs to be shared with you guys because there is definitely something to deeper unpack when it comes to the messages spirit are bringing through at the minute because there is a big relevance around this diamond uh, energy and the Merkaba and how that was connecting in the last reading to interdimensional travel, how you guys are mapping out the astral, you guys are interdimensional light beings, and how you are multidimensional beings in this way. You travel through the different planes of frequency um, in the astral through your mind and your mental connection. Your mind is the space of translation which is our frequencies you know our mind's electrical pulses it's like our brain waves become that space so you guys are actually you guys are actually being allowed access to mapping out the brain not only just mapping it out but in different states of consciousness and in different vibrational frequencies and i think part of that does correlate to brainwave states is that you're mapping out the brain in different brainwave states and we spoke about before you going into a lot of brainwave states like the theta and lower brainwaves um but also you guys enter a lot of very high brainwave states like the gamma and the, is it lambda and um epsilon waves anyway you guys channel a lot and it's because your your brain is quite literally mirroring that you know like you guys who are connecting to your inner self you're connecting to your intuition you're channeling you are gaining downloads you're gaining insights from inside yourself you guys your brain is i feel working differently electric electrically wise <laughs> that was it energetically like um we were talking about with the brainwave state so your brain's like entering these brainwave states and it's like encloaking your whole brain which is like almost laying out that plane of vibration within your brain for you to wander around that space within that vibration and there is something very significant right now about this Merkaba and your crystalline light body and how you know through your mind through your thoughts being that connector to the astral planes you're connecting with certain frequencies and this is actually changing your cellular structure this is changing your whole body Body because what frequencies we are embodying we are vibrating we are sat in our vessel is in and so your vessel has been being saturated in some very beautiful frequencies and I'm seeing a white butterfly as I say that because these frequencies your your mind your cells your DNA is being activated by is really being connected and channeled through you through that access point of the mind and also your chakras your crown chakra integrating light energy and 
life force energy and you know this is in so many different ways that you guys with this activated life force kundalini that moves through you that is light energy that is electricity that is frequency and you guys also are assisted by many spirit guides and why i said white butterfly was relevant is because there are certain angels working with you right now and white birds like egrets or cranes or um herons and also swans are the really highly synchronistic also hummingbirds as well and bees there are certain beings working with you that are literally working with you in a very vibrational energetic and frequency way that are integrating light into your auric field and your auric field is absorbing these light frequencies and it is really changing your cellular structure in this book, I thought it'd be good to read this out for you guys. It is the explanation for this card here in the deck, the crystalline light body. And this says, in the golden future, humans will transform from a third dimensional carbon based form into a fifth dimensional crystal based one. The metamorphosis will take place at a cellular level because you guys, you are aware that we are evolving as a species into higher frequencies of consciousness. Okay. And you are a part of that shift in consciousness and you you going through this shift and process yourself i'm seeing a dragonfly this is why i like coming out to nature because there's so many synchronicities from like the animal spirit guides that come through but you guys are part of this shift and you've been doing that and, and um, integrating these frequencies by the inner work that you've been doing. This is all happening on a very internal level and that in those internal frequencies are spreading to your outer reality, certain practices you do. Some of you are into like meditation or healing work through energy frequencies like yoga, med like we said, meditation, energy healing, qigong, listening to certain frequencies color healing things like this and you know all of these things that you are doing and connecting with you are actually evolving your state of consciousness and that is where we are all moving into as this human race as a human species we are evolving and shifting um up to this new world and this deck actually here is called the golden future so you guys are almost like on the precipice if that's the right word or the cusp of these light body integrations and you know as we raise consciousness states of consciousness we're raising vibrational frequencies and so our cells are also energy we are energy and so our energy bodies is going to be evolving alongside our mental and emotional um you know mind body soul so you've been evolving your mind um and you've been evolving your mind through your soul your higher self and your body is following and like we said actually the last time we came out here this is so interesting because it's like this is continued from the same point we came to here i feel like we've opened up certain energy portals in this space where we come to here in the countryside and a lot of them are to do with um your dna activations like we say if you're evolving consciousness you have been ascending evolving states of consciousness your energy body your body itself made up of energy is also going to be following that process and changing forms changing structures into more complex um light structures into more complex higher frequencies and so i feel like that's why it's come through so many times as well that diamond structure but let's read this so it will happen as the body holds a higher wattage of light containing love, knowledge, and wisdom. This is the journey to ascension. Your spirit travels in a light body known as the Merkaba. So this is making sense, girl, guys, because, okay, so we're traveling. So this Merkaba, it's almost something to do with your aura, your energy field, your light body, but not your actual light body, your light body surroundings, the energy that you're radiating outside of you, which is really mirroring your vibrational frequency that you're connected to internally. And like we said before, you guys are connected to some very high planes of vibration and hold a lot of very powerful knowledge and understandings. And these can be scientific understandings, philosophical understandings, understandings of consciousness, mind, body, soul you guys hold a lot of information inside of you because you've had these dna activations because you've been evolving your mind through your spirit and your body is following the physical 
So your physical is upgrading. Your physical body has been shifting. So we can go through certain ascension symptoms, but they're not coming through very heavily. I feel like you guys have been through many light body upgrades and shifts. And again, what I find interesting, what's being brought through by spirit right now is that spirits are also energetic bodies like like we're an energy body spirits are also energy bodies but the energy that they're made up of is of much higher frequencies and so they can become less visible to the physical eye like the visible light spectrum of color goes up past ultraviolet and you know you guys when we start to see auras and orbs you guys could see auras and orbs but if you don't you are very capable of seeing auras and um um, you know, seeing auras is seeing your electromagnetic field and our electromagnetic field that we're looking at to be an aura is said to be past the visible light spectrum. But it's just that those frequencies of light are so high vibrational. It's said to be past the visible light spectrum. But when you guys are tapping into and seeing auras and things like this um or you know you if you haven't you have the potential to you see the prana in the air the glitter in the air we've said this before as well and i was going to mention that earlier because it's so strong against the blue sky but seeing these electromagnetic frequencies is the same as you know our guides and spirits it's that their light bodies are made up of um electromagnetic waves that are very high vibrational past the visible light spectrum the same as our auras but you guys are also shifting forms your body is also evolving into these higher dimensional light body structures and your light body has been growing so if anyone checks their aura things like that you might find your auras actually expand at the minute and actually this is highly relevant too we have a crow sitting in on this reading now this is highly relevant too because you guys are empaths now empaths from a young age you have been expanding your auric field for your conscious awareness or the sense of self to inhabit the space around you and that's why you're so tuned in with the people around you the spaces around you because you are expanding your auric field or uh, which is the self to everything around you you have a very large auric field you have a very expanded aura i feel like you're someone that your presence is felt in a room even if you're you feel like you're a quiet person or you feel like um you're not very noticeable or something like that you your energy changes rooms when you go into it energetically it's like a temperature of water you get in a pool and it's a certain temperature if you go into a room it's like the temperature changes bring this lightness this life force energy um and you guys being in tune with energy probably feel that and other empaths also feel that those not so tuned into subtle energy may not notice the the energetic change when you're in a room but their awareness is very um pulled to you for some type of reason or other and i think it is that it's intuition because you guys are connecting with people on a very energetic subconscious level everywhere that you go and even when you go into nature your auric field is expanding to connect with the trees and the nature around you there is something specific about nature right now someone's uh working with fae spirits very closely white birds flying over me just as i said that and connected to fae spirits and tree spirits and uh the fae being connected to the tree spirit energy i feel like someone's accessing portals when they're in certain spaces of nature and these like portals we speak of is actually just higher vibrational patches of energy because trees are pumping out electromagnetic frequencies the same as us trees have auras and so trees are creating this kind of pool of vibration around them i feel like you guys love being in nature and someone could be going on a walk at the minute or going to a forest or connecting with nature or going in their garden more and you could be feeling um or downloading information when you're in these spaces or connecting to a deeper sense of self when you're in these spaces because of that but that was really a side message you guys um someone could have changed their diet as well it says here you know um so your spirit travels in a light body known as the Merkaba. This may consist of two interlocking pyramids, one facing down and the other up. But as you become fifth dimensional and carry more divine feminine energy, your Merkaba becomes spherical. Interesting, because bubbles have also been a synchronicity, you guys. Um, and someone could do auric work where they create bubbles around their aura or 
um it's that also bubbles are clear but they reflect rainbows that's also synchronistic for this diamond light frequency so this orb is your crystalline light body it surrounds your physical body and reflects it to take in more light, eat lighter food, drink pure water, connect with nature and take appropriate exercise. Watch your thoughts, words and actions and ensure they are positive. Meditate, practice ascension exercises. Um, this is the guidance. Each time you relax deeply, you can take in more light. So consciously surrender and imagine yourself in your spherical crystalline light body. Your guidance is to make changes you need to develop this light body. And I feel like this isn't guidance. This is confirmation. Um, so this is, uh, take the time to visualize your Merkaba as a shimmering orb surrounding you, then consciously make it bigger and radiate it out so that it touches people everywhere and activates their ascension too. Guys, I feel like the guidance is confirmation of the message that's being channeled. Your auric field has been expanding and your auric field becomes expanded in expanded frequencies, uh, from connecting with your higher chakras. So you guys have been really, really, again, this is confirmation of a continual journey that you're going on and that you have been on is that you are expanding your consciousness and if you are expanding your internal consciousness your actual physical energy field is going to be becoming expanded as well and because your auric field's becoming expanded I feel like you're connecting empathically and energetically with everything and a lot that's around you and you're also maybe able to intertwine deeper again with things like telepathy and empathic um intuitive information that you're picking up on but your auric field is expanding and I wrote something and channeled something in here the other day that is reminding me of this message so maybe it's divine time like yes your aura is pulsing it's like a heart it has its own energy flow of breath we can f with breath we can fall and relax into flow with our own breath right it's almost as if like if you sit there in meditation you guys have a heightened connection to feeling energy inside of you feeling consciousness and we say that as like chills or shivers I feel like you can feel energy moving through you when you tune into it so when you are like close your eyes and go and take some breaths and like your awareness falls into the flow of the breathing of your energy field your energy field is pulsating your aura is pulsating like a heartbeat and um you are able to fall into flow with this energy and when you're sitting and falling into flow with it it's actually expanding your aura and you are feeling this life force energy flow through your body i feel like you're able to feel conscious energy in you life force energy through you and feel it as these like shivers chills static things like that and you may also feel this static at points just randomly and I feel like you feel this randomly when there's guides doing energy healing on you and integrating certain light but like we were saying earlier you guys have a very expanded aura and this is interesting because our auric field um is almost adapting and moving and changing with us but at the same time um you guys we can have like an experienced a closed aura or a um contracted aura that's the word i'm looking for and the contracted aura pulls out energy inside of ourself so you may know when i say like um, sometimes you may want to go to places where you feel like your aura can breathe which means expand sometimes when we're sat in like <laughs> like now like a car or uh, a room um you may feel like you need more space or you like open spaces or you like being in nature because you feel like you can breathe properly i feel like you guys have um obviously you're connected to your aura but you're almost feeling your aura and your aura is very large and i feel like you feel um the most at ease in nature and places or out in the open because your aura can actually expand to its uh relaxed state your natural aura when it's expanded in its relaxed state is very very large and um i think this is because you have a lot of high 
frequencies that you've been connecting with along your ascension process. So the main message coming through this reading is that you guys have a very expanded aura and it's continuing to expand because of the ascension journey that you're on, because of the frequencies you're connecting with, because of the discoveries you're making and the healing you're making when it comes to mapping out your mind, your emotions, and because you are remapping out the self in all these different frequencies, you're almost coming back to your center time and time again, over and over again. I feel like you're entering um, this auric expansion because you are entering expanded frequencies. Expanded frequencies we can see on the scale of vibration are anything above like the 4D. This is when we come to like uh, acceptance, joy, enlightenment. If you feel like um, you can actually tell because our aura contracts in contracted frequencies like shame, guilt, you know, and you feel like you want to go really small, we're actually pulling our energy in and we are shrinking our aura. And the bigger that our aura becomes, the more spirit that we are, right? The more energy we become. The, you guys are becoming more energy than being. Like, your aura is expanding so much that there is so much energy um, actually radiating out from you. And this is interesting because like when I've seen people listening to music or playing music, that auric field immediately expands and becomes so much brighter. There could be something that you guys do that's expanding your aura. Like we say, like going for walks or uh, entering these frequencies of love. Like if you have a pet that you or are connecting with and you're cuddling or if you are doing something creative that you enjoy, if you're singing to songs because you enjoy singing, even if you feel like you're not a great singer, this also expands your aura doing these certain things certain practices like this so you could be someone who's doing these certain practices because we're picking up on this expansion but you guys are becoming more energy than matter if that makes sense and and it is uh, saturating your atoms and your cells and your actual physical body in these frequencies and changing your cellular structure, activating certain DNA where this activated DNA is then downloading into you certain rememberings, re-rememberance, uh, downloads, epiphanies and higher understandings. Your sense of reality is expanding as you got, continually go through this ascension process. Um, so let's pull one more card for you guys out of this beautiful deck the golden future and then we might pull a card out of the atlantean oracle deck as well for you guys i feel like you are very connected to the atlantean period of time the thing is is that what can be cool um so now that we kind of understand that your auric field's expanding what can be really cool about this is that uh manifestation and attraction manifestation divine feminine manifestation becomes a lot more powerful in an expanded auric field because ultimately we're becoming a signal that is radiating radiating out a very powerful energy it's and it says in here like it said the wattage it's almost like a light bulb wattage um you guys are like shining at this light frequency that's a very high voltage or wattage and you guys this this does again affect brainwave frequencies our frequencies affect our brainwave frequencies you guys are entering these um high vibrational energies like we say you're vibrating a higher wattage um, means that you're in a higher brainwave state of frequency and in higher brainwave states of frequency again certain things can click up together in different ways you're mapping out the brain in different ways um, thoughts connect together very quickly in high brainwave states and lower brainwave states our trail or our inner monologue tends to be a bit slower and more singularized so in high brainwave states it's almost like you're zooming out there's all this information everywhere and we're connecting it together very instantaneously um, so that could be something happening happening for you guys at the minute as well we did have a card fly out let's see what that was the economy giving and receiving trust your needs will be met there could be something about someone manifesting money or some form of abundance or something when it's like an integration between the spiritual and the physical because the economy is reminding me of the system the economy is reminding me of like the matrixical system that's been built up when it comes to like money and things like that it might mean different things to other people but for me this is how it's coming through and this is like really a giving and receiving six of pentacles type of energy so and there's a buddha here golden buddha with that golden light frequency coming through so with the economy coming through and then 
we'll get a bottom deck energy free energy be a powerhouse guys look you are the powerhouse of of this energy um it could be that you're generating some sort of economy or attracting some sort of money or something because of this auric field expansion if you look at the buddha as well look at this bubble around him it's the bubble again you guys there's something about your auric field becoming like this bubble um and it's affecting your physical reality in a lot of ways what are some other ways we're going to see this affect your physical reality we've got leadership and decisions we've got communal markets so this can be something again to do with business or spiritual exchange uh spiritual healing this can be service of some kind this can be online of some kind spiritual assistance or healing work you're participating in because you guys are a free energy powerhouse because of the frequencies you're radiating, you almost have more energy to exude out into something. If you have been tired or drained, I'm getting the energy through that you are being reignited again. You're generating a lot of life force energy. And so if you felt like you didn't have excess before to maybe do certain things, you're going to find yourself having more excess energy that is almost like restless energy. Oh, I just feel like I want to do something creative or, oh, do you know what? I kind of fancy going for a walk or doing this or doing that because you have more life force energy because your aura is going through this expansion right now in assistance with your guides and assistance with yourself um, because of the mental shifts that you're making leadership and decisions make choices for the highest good of all this is making choices from your heart space in the vision of the bigger picture for the collective of consciousness and for earth um, there could be something about you guys stepping into a leadership role or making a decision to step into your power deeper this could be that if you're not physically stepping into a certain role or embodying that this could be that you're coming back to sense of self with the knowing of your power your life force power your energetic power your power when it comes to yourself in a quantum way an energetic way this can be your power when it comes to knowing your soul self separate to your physical vessel right and we've done readings on that before when it's like get to know your your soul self um your soul being this ancient fragment of conscious energy i feel like you are really getting in tune with that and um being revealed that to you more and more through your path and the more that you're being revealed the more you're expanding the more you're expanding the more energy that you're radiating the more energy you're radiating the different timelines you're attracting more people you're attracting more opportunities you're attracting the bigger energy you're radiating the more discoveries you're making and the more discoveries you're making the more ignited you're becoming to discover more to take action on different things and so yeah we do see this very beautiful process of expansion through continuous continually happening for you throughout your spiritual path hopefully you guys that brought some confirmation or clarity for you um that you have been on this continual ascension path that your auric field is expanding that the the work the main i think message coming through was a confirmation of that the spiritual emotional and mental work you're doing or progression that you're making is affecting your physical reality and it's affecting your physical body it's affecting um, a lot on a physical level as well so you are changing your physical through your mental and your emotional you are changing your body and your physical reality through mind and soul um and why i'm shuffling these cards is i just want to pull a card of confirmation for this reading or for confirmation of the effect that this is having right the effect that we're looking at today on this auric field expansion i will link some readings down below that are going to be relevant to this as well we have touched on this frequency quite far back in the past and um it seems to be coming up again prana prana coming up again white horse spirits things like that but let's get a, a card of confirmation to what kind of effects that this is really going to have for you uh, because of this auric field expansion. We have High Priestess coming out and we have Nature 
and contemplation. So nature and that reflection energy being confirmed. But High Priestess sat with a white dove as well, you guys. Look at that. Okay. The High... Oh, the intuition. This is the card of the feminine power and wisdom. Do not rely on logic or rational thought at this time. If you choose the High Priestess, you are called to use your intuition and psychic gifts. Respond to challenges from your deepest knowing, for the answers lie within. You are reminded to work with total integrity and compassion. Access your wisdom and listen to your intuition. Did you notice that it said that you are called to not rely on logic or rational thought at this time? This is because I think a lot of people tuning in, this energy has been confirmation of your manifestational process and the fact that you guys are leaning more into this manifestation of attraction and how you are manifesting and changing your reality through your mind and soul. And so this really detaches from logic and rational thought. The fact is, is that everything around around us is energy everything around us is is made up of frequencies and we're in this soup or we're in this pool of frequencies around us and you guys are operating from a space of these programmings where when it comes to actually attracting or manifesting things into your physical reality it's going about it in a very energetic way from these higher planes of knowing we can materialize we can manifest into our reality like a lucid dream energetically using our psychic gifts using our intuition using our energy energy bodies changing our energy to attract like you guys are moth to a flame is coming through being this high wattage it's like you're attracting a lot of these moths and these moths are symbolism for divinity and being butterflies you know nighttime butterflies of this divine energy you're attracting and so this is confirmation do not doubt yourself because in a world where we're surrounded by logic and rational thinking that is one way we can move through things but there's a whole other way to see reality which is the way that you are you are connecting to and that is from a very quantum spiritual and energetic way energetic nature you're clearing energy inside to align energy on the outside and you you know, yeah, falling out of this rational or realism and moving about thinking and understanding things from a very much more higher dimensional way, a fifth dimensional way that isn't so connected to the physical um, or, or logic or rational thought because the rational thought or the realism is coming from the ego and, you know, that is one way to move through and it's like we do need our ego but at the same time, there's something you're manifesting here that is completely not relevant to um the to needing this logic and i think that this will go for the people who are trusting in things regardless of their physical reality reflections those of you who are trusting and going and moving through manifestation from a space of like delusional belief or um power of the mind thoughts to create reality this is your reading this is confirmation that you are a high priestess you've been incarnated as a high priestess before many times and possibly in the atlantean periods and that you hold a very powerful divine feminine power so we all hold divine masculine divine feminine even no matter what gender you're you're watching as you know, you guys hold a very powerful, um, in tune divine feminine energy because of how you've honed in on this divine feminine energy in past lives. The divine feminine is connected to past the veils. The divine feminine is the quantum, it's the subconscious, and you are reprogramming your subconscious um, through the quantum space, through your mind, and it's affecting your physical reality. And there's all different types of ways to manifest things, but you guys are having confirmation that your process that you're falling into trust with that you are trusting that blind faith keeps coming through is that this is actually working things are aligning for you and you're going to see reality become very lucid because you've trusted to take on a path of manifestation that is more in the divine feminine energy uh, connected to your guides your energetic attraction your energy uh, materialization and manifestation building up energy cords in the astral plane so that they can materialize in the physical planes and realms as well starting at a quantum level starting in the mind and building energy up and out to become materialized again for some of you with the leadership card coming out you're manifesting something energetically because you're attracting 
um, energetically. Say, for example, you have a business or you have a platform or you're in a leadership type of role or something. The way that people are seeing you or the amount of people or clients you're attracting, this seems to be a manifestation process through energy. You don't have to change anything physically. It's that you align your energy internally and you attract, you know, you attract a bigger audience or you attract more clientele or you attract the recognition that you have been, um, seeking or desiring or something like that you know um i feel like someone watching is attracting something physical through energy change or energy shift internally and again yeah this makes so much sense we become magnetic in expanded frequencies when your aura is expanding you become very uh, magnetic to attracting um, awareness and attention. So when this comes to uh, a way of awareness and attention being more like... Um, oh, whatever way that that really means for you i'll leave it at that it could be level ups about to happen in your physical pertaining something that you've been manifesting energetically right i love you so much i'm gonna leave this reading here i really hope it brought some confirmation for you guys that's always my intention confirmation for your own intuition i love you so much and i'll speak to you soon beautiful angels Mwah.